While Memorial Day stands as a tribute to fallen soldiers, we are also aware of the men and women who serve but come back with scars, physical and emotional. Tonight, Dr. Mark Siegel, a professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center and a member of the Fox News Medical A-Team, looks at new ways to diagnose and treat one of our veterans' most insidious ailments. Up to 20% of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are suffering from post-traumatic stress. But unlike other illnesses, we don't yet have a tried and true method of diagnosis and treatment. The best we can do at the moment is to take a careful history and explore with the returning warfighters their current function. The Cohen Veterans Center at NYU Langone Medical Center in New York City is developing biological measurements and brain imaging techniques that will indicate PTS in patients. I experienced my own difficulties, uh, emotional troubles with, with my transition coming out of the military. And um, through that experience, I feel like I, I know the veterans that I'm trying to reach. I know what they're going through. At the center here, new research is helping to make the invisible wounds of war visible. At the same time, therapists are helping our veterans and their families stand down psychologically and reset. We are hopeful that we will have genomic profiles that would say you should take this antidepressant and not that one you should not take an antidepressant you should take an adrenaline blocking drug or you might benefit more from psychotherapy dr marmer says the research being done here will be a game changer allowing doctors to create individual treatment plans for vets at the home base program in Boston, a partnership between the Red Sox and Massachusetts General Hospital, veterans here are also learning how to cope. It's hard to seek help, and I give folks a lot of credit for doing that. And when they come in, they could have sleep problems, they could have difficulties in relationships, there may be other things going on that um, they may not put their finger on it that it is post traumatic stress. You go to college to prepare yourself for life. You go to basic training to prepare yourself for war. Well, I went to home base to prepare myself for uh, life after the war. And it's one of the greatest things I've ever done. Kurt Power told us Memorial Day is one of the hardest days of the year for him. He wonders why he was lucky enough to survive when some don't make it home. It's worth noting more than 30% of the risk for post-traumatic stress will soon be something we can determine by genetic testing. In New York City, Dr. Mark Siegel, Fox News.